In terms of this ghost worker problem, is that you are registering workers based on the iris or the fingerprints, and ghosts are not have fingerprints. <laughs> right, so once you require <laughs> <laughs> Once you require fingerprints, the ghosts will run away <laughs> because they cannot produce the fingerprints, and that is the, 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 the problem that they, it, it, it creates for the ghosts. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, therefore, as part of these rules embedded in the government of Ghana mechanized payroll system, new entrants are required to undergo the biometric verification process to activate their information on the national payroll system to facilitate the monthly payments of salaries. As Mrs. Tyson explained, the NIA numbers are captured and are to be required to be used to activate newly employed employees in, onto the payroll system. And the issues of authentication and the validation of the accuracy and membership of the NIA number captured results in the development of a holistic approach to minimize the payment of unearned salaries or ghost workers. So there are several functions, the NIA card numbers of the NIA card, which includes, as I noted earlier, the, it serves as the taxpayer identification, social security, and national insurance trust, and, and verifying newly recruited employees, and, and so on. The objective of the linkage that we have done, this historic linkage, is now to make it mandatory for the Ghana card to be used as a means of validation of newly recruited employees and also the re-verification of existing employees and pensioners on the government of Ghana mechanized payroll system.